till noon so good morning all anything interesting in newspapers umam no not read why no i read you read but nothing interesting uh, okay so what should we do we'll we shall try to make it some thing productive okay so epf is definitely a main topic rather than a prelims topic what is the impact of you know having low saving rates so on and so forth so for now we'll just skip it we'll try to focus on something like what is the difference between national population register and aadhar is there any difference ever heard what is national population register no yes if yes when how why Hmm. Sorry, Mas. We haven't heard about it. Is it related to hmm. CA? Is it related to Citizenship Amendment <coughs> Act? Yes, you are absolutely right. See, Citizenship Amendment Act <coughs> brings the discussion of national population register into front. So, if you have Aadhar card, it's not a guarantee for citizenship. Whereas, national population register will give you that eligibility more. Uh, less so revision of basic quality for example citizenship chapter is helpful with current affairs so when you read current affairs like then as i told you you can read everything related to citizenship in one go so was there any supreme court judgment recently to you know regarding citizenship in last two months About Rohingyas, Rohingyas. Okay. So did Supreme Court say some? You know, this particular community should be given citizenship as soon as possible. Did we discuss any such thing in the class? To give citizenship to any community? No. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the the only problem questions there uh, there is this particular thing NPR versus Aadhaar. Okay, I think Supreme Court has given a judgment saying, you know, citizenship. Next one is villages uh, along China border to be open for tourism. This can be used in IR internal security or in general understanding. Vibrant village program. So this was announced in the budget. Vibrant village program. So the basic question is like vibrant village program was recently in the news. Development of Gujarat. A vibrant Gujarat. Yes. No. No. Vibrant village. Then what can it be about? It will be about border tourism villages or border village development tourism. Right. So apart from that, I don't think any value addition is there for Flynn's perspective. I'm treating you like kids because you are kids in UPSC. Yes, I'm. No, you won't agree. Okay. See, what is the point in telling you? Like, for example, in depth, we can have a discussion like how it will help you know to contain China in the long run. Value addition, internal security. How will it be helpful? Because support of the local villagers is very essential for us to get any update about. All these things. Okay, so we'll discuss them slowly. Purely prelims. Hmm. Yes, all of you know the definition of MMR, IMR. Kirtana will will tell us what is MMR. Hmm. MRF we all know. Such intended users. Brand. Now we are calling also. Okay. IMF, you know, MMF, uh, sorry, MMR, RRR, you know, I don't know, RRR, you don't know, ah, RRR, you all of you know, RRR. What is RRR? Raj Mahal is next movie. Yeah. This we know. What is MMR? Mother. Mother. 
something is good so maternal mortality rate in kerala recently has come down to 30 this is on par with global standards right so even maharashtra is bringing down mmr very nicely so mmr is per 1 lakh and that to live births right and uh, imr is per 1000 infant mortality rate number of women dying during pregnant delivery related or pregnancy related MMR. things mmr imr is about babies dying so uh, what is our advantage imr is working means institutional deliveries have increased so even for ethics case studies you can write like anudip durusetty has joined his wife in a uh, government hospital for the delivery so government hospitals are doing fantastic work so that promotes institutional deliveries or else people used to promote the deliveries at their own places so which is not hygienic and which is not safe right so that is why uh, such things are important even sdg goals have mmr targets we are reaching them so india is progressing in a social capital human capital way right and national mmr is around 103 which is an achievement in 2004 it was around 254 right in 2020 it is around 103 which is a progress so if someone says indian government is not doing anything we can show them indian government has progressed so all this stuff comes under governance so there is no single source for governance only value addition through newspaper is the best way forward okay yes please right. so this is the next logical extension of e-governance and public service delivery. delivery so this is happening throughout the country right not only Karnataka. just as an idea say okay so door to door basic delivery of services if you apply anything online they will come and give it to you home so andhra pradesh is a pioneering state right even pds benefits are being delivered at doorstep through gram volunteers <coughs> is NIA, a statutory body, Srinivas. Why? Why is it a statutory body? Narayan will tell us. Hmm. Hmm. So, Parliament created Parliament created National Investigation Agency Act. So, the body that came out of NIA is statutory body okay is it the apex body for security in the country which is the apex body for security in the country what are the special provisions of NIA does it have extraterritorial jurisdiction does NIA have extraterritorial jurisdiction Suman? It doesn't have. It doesn't have. Okay. Come on. Sure. Why? Right? You have heard. You have seen this question somewhere. Does NIA have extraterritorial jurisdiction? Narayan? It has. Sure. You guess. After going to exam hall also, you will guess. Then? You should not guess in such questions which you should be knowing. NIA does have extraterritorial jurisdiction after the Amendment Act. It, its powers are extended beyond Indian territories, extraterritorial institutions. Recently, I told you Insolvency Bankruptcy Code, NIA, all these have extraterritorial jurisdictions just four days ago. In the Enforcement Directorate article, if you remember, Vijay Malya, no, in that case, I told you, even Kaunini answered in the chat box. So, I, ISS, what is the specialty of ISS? It's a terrorist organization no it's a space station again suman will say sir if you tell me isis isis then i will know no what is iss international 
space station so what kind of prelims questions will come very good first who are the members next is which orbit which orbit santosh geostationary or geosynchronous neither it stays in lower orbit what is the difference between these three orbits is there any previous question among previous questions expert no sir i am not you are not why i need it for hmm so basically only two type of questions will come whether is india member of icc yes or no no india is not a member of international space station we are trying to develop our own space station the next one is what are the type of satellites geostationary geosynchronous and lower orbits so where does icc uh, iss stay leo lower orbit why what is the advantage mugged up just for the sake of mugging up hmm swing us very nice excellent progress all of you okay at least tell me whether lower orbits are closer to equator or not they are closer to equator lower orbits sure mm -hmm. what about poles what will poles do <coughs> so basically if you don't know it's highly recommended that you read everything and anything you can think of what satellites types satellites and they importance we we won't believe me just like that i know Mm. Let's go to your favorite book. Two thousand eleven. Till how many years did I suggest you to do previous year questions? Fifteen years. Mm. So does two thousand eleven come under that basket? Mm -hmm. So what is it saying? Santosh will tell us the answer. All of you stay silent. Why? Okay, I will accept that answer is A, right? But I want a reason why. Hmm. What is the right number? इन दिल अवेट सर इंजीनियर का So by tomorrow, if you have to come to the class, what is your homework? Satellites. Hmm. So newspaper, nothing is there. No, no. It's okay. I told him no. Okay, we will go to today's newspaper and I will ask questions. Why? Don't worry. Hmm. JCPO, yeah, ten thousand times I have asked you. Yes, so all of you know what is JCPOA. So we don't want to spend time. Not important for prelims, but for mains perspective, just remember capital punishment. India is one of the few countries which still have capital punishments. The applied ethics part, ethically, is it correct? Okay. And it is also a tension between in Saudi Arabia and Iran. So uh, of some of the people who are executed. some of them are from shia community so shia muslims so automatically the tensions between saudi and iran will be flared up 
next uh, he is trying to make you do phd on geneva conventions but basic details is more than enough for geneva conventions the prelims question is geneva convention was in the news related to or is india member of geneva convention uh, next so basically geneva convention was in the news last time in context of india was abhinandan case the pilot who crashed in pakistan so he was considered as prisoner of war but he was safely returned to india so that is entirely done under vienna convention so vienna convention is prisoner of war okay so here one more thing is international criminal court that is prelims perspective this much we know yes what all comes under international criminal court is basic details so he talks about how a prisoner of war should be treated they should not be hurt they should be safely returned they should be treated with dignity so on and so forth okay but the main part is this one now see amnesty international says the human right human rights are violated most by four out of five so if he has to come and bring russia to the book first of all somebody should bring usa to the book whatever now russia is doing usa have done it in vietnam war iraq after that lot of drone attacks indiscriminate usage of drones for killing which also had lot of collateral damage right so there are wonderful movies like eye in the sky which shows that you know when you are when you don't have an option you kill a terrorist but you know that uh, you are going to take collateral damage four or five innocent citizens will also be killed so like this america has done a lot of war crimes okay the position of yemen now or syria or iraq all these are because of usa and its support systems so when you knew that you are doing all these things automatically you cannot blame russia, russia. so now uh, if four out of the five unsc permanent members are you know to be blamed under geneva conventions then who is perfect india was the driver kutumbakam india is the only country which have not done any of these kind of atrocities nor ethnic cleansings etc etc uh, if you take history in 1971 we have done exactly the same thing what is happening to ukraine to protect the innocent east pakistan citizens we have liberated them and created bangladesh so history always tells us that india is on the right side of the story so we have that moral authority we have helped people right so i think india have more moral voice than these p5 members okay see we had thousands and thousands of prisoners of war in 1965 war 1971 war we have given them as <coughs> well right we have treated them with dignity so india is having a lot of advantages okay whereas west asian countries p5 members none of them have moral authority and india is always a international law abiding citizen except for the npt case nobody can blame india is not following these these rules okay and don't treat india means only from 2014 india means from independence till now right i hope you understand so in every sense india is more moral uh, than most countries so that is a major take away all of you know what is ransomware <coughs> any example for ransomware stuxnet stuxnet is not a ransomware um any previous questions should we test no at least is there a question on ransomware okay again we will go back open the book and type something called as oops hmm. there is a question very old question 2018 how did it no oh what is one a cry petaya eternal blue 
these are all types of ransomware any new value addition anything in the last six months log 4j that was in the news that is a vulnerability but not a ransom where but you can put it under cyber attacks yes or no yes hmm. right so india is seeing a lot of cyber attacks not only for films point of view from mains point of view also we need more cyber security experts now what is he talking about he's saying secure patient data involved okay is there any government program for digitization of medical records yes sir ndhm what is that national digital health mission national digital health yes. mission is it a part of digital india no sir no sir it is part of aishman bharat okay have you ever heard about technical textiles yes yes those which are you in hmm. for example this seat covers hmm. so Hmm. Continue. What are technical textiles? What is the implication, or what are the uses of technical textiles? Ten marker. What will you do? We'll we will read by then. Yeah, hmm. no, sir, hmm. but like give some examples of what. What is technical textile? Have you heard about it? Anyone? No. Hmm. <clears throat> This has been asked in CAPF exam 2019 or 2020. Direct UPSC exam. So technical textiles. So what are technical textiles? What are the usage of technical textiles? Is a ten marker science and tech question. So they are basically plastic or textiles with man-made fiber with higher strength capacities. So parachutes or any other material, defense-related purposes. So a lot of places have usage for technical textiles. So that is linked to PLI schemes, product-linked incentive schemes. How many industries or how many sectors are under PLI? This time a question might come in plans related to textiles for two reasons. One is GST, inverted duty, inverted duty structure related to textiles. The other one is product link, incentive schemes, and man-made fiber. So PLI also covers man-made fiber and technical textiles. To base out that on technical textiles elsewhere, it is basically important. Now economy. How many of you are strong in economy? All of you. Okay. So, what is difference between spot exchange and a commodity exchange? Basic, right? Right? Spot exchange and a commodity exchange, both are same. Commodity exchange, you have heard, right? Commodities, multi commodity exchange, MCDX. Commodity exchange. What are you reading for uh, economy? Vivek Singh. Yes. Mm. Mrunal, Ramesh Singh, whatever Singh or Patel or whatever it is, you have to read the basics, right? So there is a concept called as commodity exchange where you can go for derivatives and futures. So in commodity exchange, sometimes I can go for futures. Obviously, I don't have the product right now. In three months down the line, I will sell you this. So these are futures, commodity exchange. So you can pre-plan your logistics. Where a spot exchange means on the spot, instantly. So you need to have the goods in. And so, what is NSE doing? NSE is trying to build up a spot exchange for billion trade. And even if you read economic survey or anything, you know that gems, jewelries are uh, one of the largest exports of uh, one of the largest exports of India. Okay. Basic details. So make sure I I mark you the chapters right. Yes, sir. No matter which book you read, you read. And then you will come and say, "Sir, paper was very, very tough. We never heard all such things. It was not covered in the magazines." 
I'm still, I say literally I'm skipping all the mains and stuff. I'm not even touching them. Umang, how many questions came? Four. No? More than, More than four. Now Pratyusha will tell us what are the Panchamrit principles without spelling mistakes. Panch means six. No? Mm. She will tell. I am I'm sure of it. Mm. Okay, fifty percent of energy from renewable sources by twenty fifty. Twenty thirty. Okay. Two point five to three. Two point five to three. That is INDC or Panjamrit. That is Panjamrit only. <coughs> hmm. Then net neutrality. Carbon emissions neutrality hmm. by 2070. Mm -hmm. Three. Hmm. I think this has already been a 2021. So you are only six months behind. So just think about it. See again, I'm, it's my it's my job to give you that reality check, right? Or to tell you where you are. People who wrote mains earlier at this time, they are supposed to know what is happening in the news and should be able to write a mains answer. Sir, if you give me options, I will identify. All these things will help you clear problems. But if we have to stand with people who will write in the mains, see, they might have even practiced diagrams. So they they are expecting Panchamrit principles. What will they do? They will write Panchamrit principles A B C D. Then extension as an example. Also, this 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 is being done for Panjamrit principles. So the difference between you and a mains writing aspirant is he knows what are Panjamrit principles to the dot, and he also have extra evaluation examples. So that is why I keep saying only twenty percent of your preparation will help you eighty percent of the scores. Okay. So uh, so what we have done, we have skipped all the ten thousand words in the newspaper. So if you see even my highlights, I have literally highlighted only the selected lines. So out of that, all these films questions came. So this is your job. You should be doing this by now. So for the class, it should be more like you know, quick revision. It should not be like primary. I should come and I will tell you. Okay. All right. One more. Which one? Five hundred gigawatts of solar energy. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> what are the crimes that are covered under National Investigation Agency Act after the amendment? So simple. UPSC exam is a simple exam. Every day you see NIA. What do you do? NIA PRS. All you do is type NIA plus PRS in the Google. Okay. They will be a single page PDF. You will read the PDF. Done. Katam. Is human trafficking covered? Are cyber crimes covered? Okay. Is count covered? So are these the three changes that have been made after the amendment or before the amendment? Hmm. So it reminds me of Victor Hugo's quote. What, what did Victor Hugo say? He must have said a lot of things. Hmm. Everyone is even ants are busy. What are you busy about? Right? Are you spending your energies in the right place? Yes or no? Now today's newspaper will start. Okay. Cabinet Committee of Sec Security is headed by Prime, Prime Minister. Minister. Now second logical question: Is CDS a member of Cabinet Committee on Secu Security? Sir, Chief of Defence Staff. Not a member, sir. 
not a member can he attend on can other members uh, can outsiders attend cabinet meetings cabinet committees on on invitation on invitation so it should be a member that is decide but as of now cds is not a cds is not a member mm -hmm. okay cds four star general or five star lavanya cds four star or five star no stylish star evaru santosh who is stylish star allu arjun hmm cds four star very good cds is a four star general only sham and akshay is a five star general in the country during liberation war hmm. right <coughs> <clears throat> so india should take a, india should take a stand on ukraine we will leave it to jay shankar okay why right? we have had lengthy discussions in this class on what should be india's stand you may call it cowardice you may call it unethical or whatever it is your opinion doesn't matter okay so only jay shankar's opinion matter so why waste 1500 words on that particular thought process and again i told you ethics is comfortable for those who are in a privileged position right if i lock you up in a in a in a dark cell for 10 days after the 11th day when i open the cage or whatever whatever i will give you you will eat is yes or no all your ethical standards like you should wash you know you should be produced procured from here like this your ethical consumerism all things will go into the drainage pipe why right? <laughs> for 10 days if you are hungry without water you will be in a near death experience then if i give you bread you will get bread whatever i will give you you will eat so ethics is when things are good right for a civilized society so logically arguing yes on the 11th day also you should follow that ethical practice but it is not humanly possible so for ir international relations survival is the primary dharma the only dharma is survival Gandhi's photo, or Martin Luther King's photo, or you know, ethics D.K. Balaji textbook is not going to stop China from coming into India. It is a Brahmos missile, the S-400, or you know, better ammunition will help India to act as a deterrent, right? So, same argument. If you if you are still not convinced about India's stand, you should go back and think about 1974 Pokhran test. Then also we did not listen the global ethics why. Today, none of them are saying that you know if China or Pakistan is attacking, I will come and stop it. Did Am in did America give us extra drones to stop Chinese invasion in Galwan? No, right? So all this is only good for answer writing, okay? Hmm. And above all, we have to feed one point five billion population, right? If economy is don't grow. See, it's not a big deal to go to war with China or US or Russia. Even we can go and drop some bombs. It's not rocket science. The thing is, what are the ramifications? What will happen to your 1.5 billion population? As a leader, what did Zelensky do? So, did he help his citizens or you know, got the national pride so high that he could not get down off the nationalism horse? Right? Okay, and he has unfortunately become a pawn in the hands of. <coughs> Yes, and Russia both have played him nicely. Okay, now we have recently launched a missile into Pakistan. Yes, unintentionally, right? Unintentionally, if we can launch a missile into Pakistan, it's a message to the Pakistanis that if intentionally we can launch a lot of missiles. So that is one WhatsApp forward. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay. Apart from that, we will stick to the prince things. See, obviously, this is not the first time. Earlier, also, we have killed our own personnel. Uh, we have crashed. Uh, <clears throat> we have killed our own chopper using our own missiles, assuming it's an enemy plane. So, 
launching of missiles one deadly and one deadly should not be that easy procedure okay they should have a proper standard operating procedure the only long term solution is sops standard operating procedures launching missiles should be quick at the same time it should not be too quick there is a delicate difference a healthy difference between too quick and quick okay so that is what hindu is trying to suggest that we should have a better sop the prelims question in this article is mtcr regime missile technology control regime, regime. is india member yes sir but that is why we gave missiles to yes. philippines now what is the limitation in mtcr narayan will tell us is there any limitation in mtcr regime regarding missiles Yes, after joining MTCR, you can send weapons. Okay, but within MTCR, is there a limitation? Limited to members only. Okay, let's assume that is not correct. Then, what is the limitation? Nuclear. Is Brahmos a nuclear missile? It's not a nuclear missile. It's not. Sure. Sure, sir. What is the limitation? Is there any limitation on the MTCR members because of the missile system? I think they changed recently. To what? Three hundred and five hundred must be some numbers. Hmm. As far as I know, we have restricted ourselves. I mean, Brahmos has higher capacity, but the ones we have given to Philippines are limited to three hundred kilometers range. Ah, uh, range. So range and weight. So payload cannot be more than five hundred, and I think three ninety or something is the range for two ninety. Two ninety, two ninety something is range for uh, Philippines. So we have restricted our capacity that once we have given to Philippines, but once we have are more capable. So something you should be definitely knowing MTCR thanks to Philippines weapons export. Okay, either in IR or in other places that will be a prelims question. MTCR limitations and what did we do and for IR part also it is important. India is a member of MTCR, but not a member of nuclear NPT. supplier N NSG. NSG. India is definitely not a member of NPT, but NSG also India is not a member. China is not a member of MTCR, whereas India is not a member of NSG. So we can compromise. Okay. So this you must have read, right? Self-explanatory article. Chennai, a uh, Tamil Nadu murder case, honor killing. That's a gruesome murder. Nothing to explain. Honor killing is a wrong thing. He, here again, simply we can bring in societal morality versus constitutional morality. Society thinks that you know people should not marry, marry, marry below. Oh, sorry, beyond their caste. What is that practice called as? No. English. Marrying within your caste. Within. Some gaming. No. You know, Jodhagar. So we have seen that community is one of the women. Yes or no? Johar. The practice is conducted because they don't want to submit themselves to the enemy. So they will commit suicide by killing themselves. Even uh, rape is used as a weapon. Our communities don't encourage you know, marrying outside. So, so it's... It's a common practice from decades or generations that the honor of the family is in the honor of the woman. So if a particular community feels that, you know, a girl from our community is marrying someone else, that is a loss for the faith, loss of faith for the family and the community. 
so that is why this you know intercast marriages are not at all entertained or encouraged so that is one thing now what does constitution say if someone is above age of 18 if he or he decides to marry someone they should be able to marry. do that okay in ethics paper such kind of tricky articles or tricky situations will become helpful you are an sp to a district a new couple came to you for protection but she is a daughter of an mla she is from an upper caste but the boy is from her college she is from a he is from a lower caste so what will what are the steps that you are going to take so caste based or religion based questions are very common so communal rights or caste based issues will prevail uh, in the society so as an officer how will you handle them okay, learning is one thing see the system is working even if it's a 2015 case after a lot of struggle the justice has been delivered okay that means the system is slow but it is working okay it's a traumatic period for the family of the victim even for the girl she might have gone through a lot of trauma and this is not the only case we have seen we have seen hundreds of cases like this uh, haryana is famous for honor killing telangana andhra Tamil Nadu, these places also have seen honor killings. So the, the honor of the family lies in the honor of the woman is something really close, right? So how do you handle such scenarios? As an SP, let's assume the couple were not killed. They were threatened. They came to you uh, for uh, protection. So what are, the, what, what are the logical things you would do? Provide security for their marriage. <clears throat> okay, the, the the girl is the daughter of an MLA. Let's assume so. Hmm. So, so at least in answer, you have to take standard constitution of us all equally. Sorry? Then even she is a hmm. daughter of an MLA. Hmm. Hmm. We'll just let her marry. Okay. Mm. Then that's it. Nothing else. Provide security for their marriage. Behavioral mm. changes and behavioral changes are for the cause for people who are mm. against them. Mm. So the problem with your answer is you are only solving that individual case. You are not thinking about the overall problem. Okay, you're not even trying to solve the long-term problem. So today you are protecting them, you leave them, uh, they get married. But tomorrow they have to go back into the same society to meet the same family members. Right? So we have seen cases where uh, the mother and father of the girl will slowly call her. Okay, it's so whatever happened, happened, come back to family. The couple will go there, then they will kill them. So a lot of things have happened like this. So you're not thinking for long-term point of view, just staying to the particular case study. So UPSC is going to test your holistic approach, not a individualistic approach. So even though the case is immediate, but the problem is perennial. It keeps on coming back. Next, some other person will come. So how do you take care of such scenarios? So you have to talk to the community members, the leaders of the caste, so on and so forth, counsel the parents. If they accept, they might convince the community members. So, so the threat is immediately from the family, right? The most of most of the times outsiders won't enter into a, even if it's a caste matter outsiders outsiders very uh, outsiders okay. intervention is very less except in this case this case is totally opposite uh, that what is his name Yuraj is totally an outsider right <clears throat> so if you convince the parents then probably things will calm down so like this you have to deal with a lot of things. And again, just imagine it's not that easy. In reality, if the MLA is from the ruling party and his daughter is being yellow, there will be a lot of pride prestige involved. And if the uh, if the girl is from a very major community, which has a lot of influence in the entire state, then the chief minister will be breathing down your neck. It's not that that easy for you to just let them marry. In such cases, I think it's easy and very rational to convince those two adults telling what mishaps can happen if you don't marry and tell them like break up so, happily yes. mm. you think it's it's people will listen it is very likely that threat, threat. 
will die let me have in bahubali in the next life we will meet i think love is something that is not rational people won't understand all such logical concepts not everybody is as cold hearted as the upsc aspirant no <laughs> So they won't see reason, rhyme, rhythm, and all those things. Yeah. Okay. I have never seen anybody get convinced that that is. There will be a lot of drama. There will be elopement. There will be fighting. Yes. Generic medicines. Prelims questions. Yes. Okay. So this is an article which tells you two prelims questions. First of all, what are generic? Medicines. Next, what is compulsory licensing? The third one is what are nutraceuticals? So, what are they? Protein addition, vitamin addition, vitamin addition, anything you see in the ad, right? Okay, take this one particular uh, pill in the morning. You will be energetic till the evening because it has A to Z all the vitamins, protein, etc., etc. So, such things are nutraceuticals. So technical definition, knowing technical definition is basically a good thing. It's like additional supplement. Are you suffering from lack of, you know, uh, iron or something? Take this. Okay. So such things are neurotypicals. But actually, gen aushadi kendras are generic medicine centers. So that is one. Second thing is, you must be knowing this, but just as a revision, in India, National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority (NPPA). is the one who decides the prices okay both generic and branded are regulated by nppa okay that is point number 1 second thing only medicines with within the scheduled list are covered under this nppa unscheduled do not have a cap there is a question there is a previous question related to drugs in upsc so this becomes important okay now who will tell me what is compulsory licensing so apply for licensing uh, for the that people Need more medicines like if one company holds the rights for producing those medicines and for uh, uh, good and for giving at cheaper rate, any company can approve this thing for for compulsory licensing. <clears throat> so it is a concept which encourages generic production, right? Let's say I I am a company with a particular patented drug. but there is an issue just like covid see covid <coughs> during covid times india and south africa are the only countries which have demanded for compulsory licensing that means this pfizer big companies have paid in over the vaccination but it is taking a huge amount of time for it to produce a vaccination and give it to the larger public that is not good for anyone so what will compulsory licensing do is give permission to these other pharmaceutical companies to use that particular formula and produce the drugs at a cheaper price see you are charging for the brand and the r and d right not the actual ingredients yes or no so the famous case is bayer case in india b a y r bayer bayer pharmaceuticals okay. was it about the cancer cancer drugs sir heart i think yeah cancer or heart disease related drug so what what government can do is because people will die if there is no vaccination if one company in the world is having that that means the indian government can give the permission for reproducing the same see we can reverse engineer it's not a problem what is stopping is the patents the ipr intellectual property regime so if that is broken down automatically the formula will be given and more more companies will produce a medicine that will save lot of lives so that is revision for compulsory licensing yes. इस चिलिका लेके राम सर बैठते हैं टाइम। Yes sir। Sure। First राम सर बैठते हैं। First राम सर बैठते हैं टाइम। Collar। Collar is also राम सर। Sure। Yes। चिलिका is between। Is it between two rivers?
is polar between two rivers or chilika between <clears throat> polar between krishna godavari below maharadi near peter karna okay right these are the major things in the newspaper and hindu is totally fascinated with the election results somehow it is doing phd on who won why what happened aam aadmi party tapur brahmin combine etc 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 but i don't think that is not important for upsc but this thought process is important for upsc okay for governance related schemes people are used to freebie schemes yes right so if if we can just mug up all the things that we have discussed that will be helpful i think just the science and tech part where you have to learn about the missiles technology control regime and types of satellites will take a good amount of time but it is very very important <clears throat> order lagrange points so there are points in space uh, which are used to navigate easily uh, like the trajectory can be marked easily from that points so there are the points where the gravitational force of the sun and earth they uh, balance out each other and it provides a more balanced uh, space to place the satellites i have small doubt is it only between sun and earth is there a lagrange point between let's say moon or let's say sun and venus sir lagrange points are available between any two celestial bodies hmm. any two celestial yes. bodies is lagrange point anything linked to let's say james webb telescope i did not see i did not read james webb telescope hmm is there anything called as mission aditya upcoming mission upcoming mission does it have anything to do with lagrange points latin sanskrit no sorry speaking our latin sanskrit no ma yes sir it's a point in space where the gravitational pull is at its minimum because it is being balanced out both by the celestial bodies so if you put a satellite there or it you know uh, or anything there it can observe without lot of distractions so if i want to observe sun i should be in a position where sun's gravity and earth's gravity should not affect my observation so even for observing the space i need a lot of stability so james hub satellite i think has been placed in lagrange point 2 okay so we need that stability to observe things so especially to observe sun or in the james webb case opposite to sun that means sun should be always or most of the times on it on its back right so if it has to capture the light sun should be on the opposite side so like this there are some small small details which you should be thoroughly knowing <laughs> if it don't know all these things you can just write down all these points or the topics like range points or whatever it is and get more clarity it will take you one 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 hour for that topic but it's totally worth why you are investing in the perfect places and your growth will come once you do that science and tech becomes easy okay correct any questions spot extension and commodity extension is basic but uh, both are same just so you said both are not same mm, i didn't say i asked you that mm. are they both same 
can multi commodity exchanges be spot exchanges also reading this cb and all market uh, lsc i have not read this so hmm. change your source so i have read about this but not under the names hmm. this essential nomenclature hmm. Hmm. What export stuff can I read? Export stuff can I ignore? Mm. Okay. Ashok Gulati. So I'm not discussing Indian exports because IE is more for main side. So I haven't read that article. I will look at it let you know. Whether Ashok Gulati is. Uh, no, sir. There was one more in Hindu also which talks about. Rising wheat prices in because of Ukraine Russia crisis. Yes, I think you can ignore it. Okay. Yes. Anything else? Right. If you don't have anything, I will end the session here. We'll see you tomorrow.